As the east coast of the United States deals with the aftermath of Superstorm Sandy, New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg promises a better prepared city one year after the storm's record flooding that caused many deaths. A question on everybody's mind on this first anniversary of Hurricane Sandy obviously is, are we better prepared now for storms like Sandy than we were a year ago? And I think the answer is unconditionally yes. You can never do too much, but uh, we've made an enormous amount of progress. If another storm like Sandy ever approaches our shores, it will find a far different city from the one that Sandy left behind. A city much more able to withstand the kind of surging seawaters and punishing winds that Sandy brought. We are building New York City back stronger and smarter so that we'll be resilient to a broad range of extreme weather events in the future, including big coastal storms. And today, right here, we're seeing evidence of that. On Staten Island's Crescent Beach, we saw what our Parks Department is doing. They're building up sand dunes that will be seeded with beach grass to create buffers against storm surges. On Jamaica Bay and the Rockaways, where even before Sandy, we were re reconstructing the bayside bulkheads. Now, as part of that project, as you've seen, we are also installing tide gates, and they'll prevent flood water from backing into storm sewers and drains and inundating streets and homes, as happened last October 29th. And here along Coney Island Creek, which was far and away the most significant entryway for Sandy's floodwaters in this area, we're moving ahead with a comprehensive plan to raise bulkheads, create or expand wetlands, and construct a tidal barrier in the creek's mouth. Sandy inspired officials across the region to rethink their storm readiness. In June, Bloomberg proposed a $20 billion plan to fortify the city to handle future storms. His measures range from new flood walls to building up beaches to act as natural barriers.